Just like a pallet, we laying shit down. My man bitch and then I shocked the whole town. Like, comment, share. Niggas know how you do. I need uh 3,000 subscribers. Nigga, I'm at 2.97. The next time I hop on a reaction video, I need I need 30 more subs tonight, bro. That's how active I am. I'm going to drop at least five shorts in the morning and three clips of a new interview for y'all. This is the, I put in work every day and I'm about to stream in 20 minutes. And I'm about to stream in 20 minutes. Nigga, no cap. Nigga, stop playing with me. I really do this. Hey, on a brand new episode, we have a real unique story that happened that caught my attention. But this is some serious stuff we reacted to. I mean, I, you know, that was just 40 seconds. That was just to get y'all in there. But at the same time, look, peep me. Peep me. Peep and um, I reached out to Charleston White because I felt like the world needed to know the real story, not the story that the main, the mainstream media is trying to, you know, create this narrative. Um, but we're in Fort Worth, Texas. I got Aaliyah Wallace. Hello. Nice, to you. nice to meet you. I got Charleston White. And, uh, he had to bring Charleston. Look at him. Look at Charleston trying to be a good guy. When you just locked up, nigga act like he wasn't locked up. He trying to be a good Samaritan. He don't know what to do. That They ass fucked his ass up in jail. Uh, we're here to just get her story on what really happened. Um, because when I saw it, when people sent me the link, you know, it was this thing where people tried to make her be the bad guy. And uh, that's not the case. Yeah, she, uh, she, she was a single mother uh, who was defending her home. Uh, with, with four daughters, if, if I believe, yes, and your sir. oldest is eight, right? My oldest is nine. Is nine. The eight year old was there. Eight year old was there. Yeah. And and from what I understand, uh, he was a teenager. Yes. Uh, he was a fourteen year old young man, uh, who had previously broken to your home. Yes, sir. Four uh, times, right? Four times, right? Yeah, three or four. Three that or four. would have been like the fourth time. And and and, but this particular night, he had broken to your home twice. Yes, sir. Uh, so the narrative is, uh, uh, I guess what got me is, uh, here it is, a single black mother uh, protecting herself at home. Uh, and, and for you to get put out, uh, uh, the, the world should be embracing you. Uh, the black community should be here with us uh, embracing you. And so uh, I, I had no idea it happened until Sean Cotton called me. And so once I started talking to family members, they had been following your story. Uh, and so uh, I reached out to Mr. Jesse Taylor, who's a uh, who's the precinct chair uh, 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 over on the, in the Eastwood Stop 6 District of the Tarrant County GOP Republican Party. Uh, he made some phone calls. We located your mother. Uh, and so uh, Sean and I just wanted to, you know, just wanted to help you. Bless you. Yeah. Thank you. So, I mean, where are you at right now mentally with everything? Uh, I think I'm okay now. And some days where... Did he, did he die? What happened? Did he get killed? It's it's hard because he was a teenager, mm -hmm. but no, I'm okay. And how long ago did this take place? It was December 14th. Okay, so about, about a week and a half. Mm -hmm. Can you take us through that night, what happened? Okay, um, it was like one in the morning and I was in my bed. My daughter's room is directly across from mine. So I was laying in my bed, just scrolling and I heard something, so I sat up. And as soon as I set up, my daughter came and ran in my room. She like, mom, somebody's trying to get in my window. So I ran in there and I grabbed my four-year-old who was in there too. I grabbed her out of the room and then I called the police. Oh God, I thought she was about to say I grabbed my 40. I was about to be like, oh shit. She about to kill him and talk about it. I called the police at 122. So they came, they talked. It was already a police who had came before for the same thing. So she already like, no, they've been coming in or whatever. So they came, they took pictures, did a report of everything and then they left. So we go, I got all my kids in my room now and we just, they go, they went back to sleep, but I just couldn't go to sleep. I just started cleaning up. I started sweeping my living room and I started to hear the window go up again. So I went and I'm looking, like peeking at in her room, but I'm still in my hallway. I'm trying to see if I could see him. And as soon as I seen him start lifting up, I just shot him. Mm. Oh, did you know who he was? Never seen him before? I seen him like in the apartment. Yeah. yeah. Well, ha had they been breaking in a lot of apartments throughout? I haven't heard of any, but I don't talk to nobody over there. I don't, I stay, me and my kids stay in the house. So 
I wouldn't know if they was breaking in in anybody else's. But my neighbors right next door to me, no. So 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 let me ask you this. Uh what what's the reason, what's the justification uh that, that they have given you for, for being evicted and put out of your apartment? Um, when she called me the following Monday, the lady in the office, and she told me that I got 30 days to vacate because I'm not supposed to have a firearm on the I premises at all. Mm. Uh, it, now, is this Section A housing or is there any Section A housing in, 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 in the around area? It's them. Well, it ain't Section A. It's HUD. I mean, it's I same, it's, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, so by, by federal law, that's what they're saying. You're breaking the federal housing law by having the gun. So uh, my my question is by by you being in in hood housing apartments you don't have the, the you're not afforded the same right as we do to to protect your home that's, with your second amendment rights. What they telling me? So you have no felony convictions? No sir. No criminal history? No sir. You're a single mother with four daughters. Yes sir. Who house have been broken in multiple times. You mean to tell me in this country you can't they're telling you you you, you can't have a gun? Yep. Wow. Mm. Wow. And I had been calling her. I'm calling the office every time I come home. I come over to my mom's house. And when I get back home, the window broke. It slid. The back door opened. So I'm calling them every single time. Is, is, there, is there security? Is there extra security measures that's brought by HUD in, in the apartment complex? Not enough. Why was the nigga kept on trying to break? Like, what was he trying to do? Is there a security officer on, on, on guard, on staff? No, sir. So you're left to defend yourself with what? Nine one one. Yes. What about the kids' parents? Have y'all spoke or have they reached out or anything? No, I haven't spoke to her. When she was saying, like on the news, she didn't know what happened. The police wasn't telling her anything. I wanted to talk to her. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be the one who was mm -mm. gonna tell her. No, no, you, 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 you. That, that's not, that's not your job. Uh, uh, and, and that's 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 awesome, and that's amazing that you have that empathy for that mother. Uh, but nah, not you. I ain't. Uh, the when, when you're grieving, there's nothing that you can say mm -hmm. to this mother to say that you that you're not the reason. So mm -hmm. you you did you worry about them. You stay focused on them four kids. Uh, you you had nothing to do with that death other than defending your family. You wasn't the cause of that. Yeah, you you just acted. Uh, but nah, man. Uh. Yeah, now you, 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 your daughter and them will be forever affected by this. Uh, the, the fact that they was woken up out of their sleep, uh, that's going to be forever traumatizing. Uh, going to sleep at night. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so let, let, let's focus on them. Uh, he going to be all right. He dead. It's hard. Oh, my goodness. Did you just say that she's smiling? Oh, my God. Harsh as that sound. He go be all right. He dead. Uh, we got to worry about them and you. Yes, sir. Mm. Yeah. Well, how was your Christmas? It was good. My mom and my brother and my auntie, they, they come through every yeah. time. So my kids had a good Christmas. Yeah. Well, uh, hopefully we can make it better for mm. them. Yeah, hopefully, you know, ain't, ain't nothing like uh, waking up in your own home because they, they just been uh, abruptly moved out of their home right before Christmas. So uh, ain't nothing like waking up going, you know, midnight Christmas tree in your in your house with your mom and then coming to grandma in them house. Mm -hmm. uh, so th let's see if we can recreate Christmas for them. Yeah, I would love to put this on my platform. Um, all proceeds from this interview, I want to give it to you and your family. Um, love to put it on Say Cheese and yeah. um, get that GoFundMe from 41 to 81. Or forty one to uh, one hundred forty one. Yeah. Like that's uh, that's because when I seen it, I was out shopping and it, it just touched me. You know, Charleston. He he's really uh he touches so many people as well. So um, that's really why I wanted to uh, come here and, and really there, just do this. Uh, there, there's no way that I could be from this city. Uh, and, and, and this happened to you. Uh, and and if we not hunt you down and find out who you are. Uh, and, and try to assist you. Uh, I can't believe that more people haven't. Uh, you know, and that's not to try to shame anybody for, for yeah, I just can't believe the, the whole world haven't gotten behind you. Uh, and, and we pride ourselves on Second Amendment rights and, and, and protecting ourselves uh, and protecting our homes uh, as well as protecting our women. So, uh, yeah, I, I hope that this interview uh, changes your life uh, because your life has changed forever now. Yes. Uh, you can never undo this. You can you can never forget it. 
uh, you can only grow and evolve past it. Yeah, and 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 it's good to know that you have empathy for that for that mother. Uh, yeah, that's very refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. What's your thoughts been on? You know, you've been all over the internet. I hate it. Mixed reviews, people arguing, having it. debates. I hate it. And my mama don't make it no better because she just gonna uh, <laughs> go back and forth with these people. I keep uh, leave the comment. Her. Leave the comment section alone. That's yeah. why I'm so. Uh, uh, if you want to keep your sanity, if you want to keep your peace, uh, because the devil is gonna speak to you through the comments. Right. So he's whispering in their ear to because he know what's going to hurt you. He know what's going to trigger your trauma. They don't know what they saying. They just like the donkey or the pig that's possessed by the spirit and just doing whatever. So they're going to say some shit. Uh, oh, some shit. That's what my comments be doing. And y'all, nigga, I rebuke the devil. I rebuke y'all. <laughs> uh, to try to contaminate your spirit. Uh your cousins, your aunts. So, so, uh, man, block the comments. And everybody out. talking about what they would have, should have, could have. Block the man. Block them. Never been in that position. Please exactly. do me a favor. Don't read them comments, step man, because uh, please don't read them comments. It's number evil in them comments. I man, listen. Uh, if you want to see evil, read them comments. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, man, you got to focus on on uh. Uh, it's a journey, right? Uh, you don't, you, you took a life, uh, and that's that's not natural. Uh, so it's dreams that come with this shit. It's nightmares. Uh, your your conscience, your your, your the psychology of, of of it's a whole lot. It's a, Niggas don't understand. It's a whole lot. Uh, a nigga ain't even the same no more after that. Uh, and they need your mind to be right. Cause they gonna be waking up in the middle of the night. That's yeah. Cool. So, uh, yeah, they gonna be waking, man. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you they from? Uh, you grew up in Fort Worth. Yes, sir. Uh, what high school did you go to? Oh, Oh, okay. So is that that's like the south? Yeah, like south side, south west side. Yeah, south west side. So, what was it like growing up out here? Yeah. That's cool. Just regular life. What's your graduating cool. class year? I didn't graduate. I had my baby when I was 15. Oh, okay. okay. So what would have been your class? 16. 2016? Okay. okay. So 2016, nigga. Shout out to 2016, nigga. We what, 25, 26? You about 26? 25. 25. I'd be 26 next year. Okay. Type shit. So, 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 so what's your plans and your goals, right? If you can, if you can get the financial pressures of life take, taken off your shoulders, what would you like to do with your life? get a house so we ain't got to worry about this no more and go back to school what's your credit like i ain't never messed with it at all so, so you don't it's know. probably no yeah, so no gotta, credit no, no credit is just as good as bad credit yeah you gotta yeah, have so yeah. Yeah. yeah so uh so when you say go to school what you want to go to school for you know i just want to do something man you're okay. 25 so your brain just developed right so so when i look at you i say okay uh the light just came on so now she's trying to think what she wants to do, but it's it's, it's hard because the light just came on, right? So if you ain't if if you haven't been nurtured, that nigga talking his shit because my light just came on. It's so fucking hard, bro. When you fucking lit and don't know what to do with it, bro. A nigga sick as fuck. I really like don't know what to do with life right now, bro. A nigga don't know like I don't know. I don't know like I'm my. I don't really have too much like help too much with like the thought process of this shit or what the fuck gonna get me to the next level. Uh everything I do be just my 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 different shit is shit real. And 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 prepare it for when the light come on, uh mm -hmm. it's where we at, right? Uh so now you can start thinking, man, what I really want to do what with you my really life. passionate about. Yeah, uh you can be a you can be a Passionate about this social media shit, nigga. I'm lit, nigga. Right now, nigga. Go, nigga. Go follow, uh, go follow Sure Cap on Instagram, nigga. Fifty five thousand followers, nigga. On God, nigga. Probably fifty six right now. Uh, so. Gun rights advocate. You can be a victim rights advocate. You can be, uh, uh, you can, man. You can create. You can go rewrite the laws for homeowners association, hood housing. You can go. You can change the world with what what that happened to you. 
uh, because I think this can generate a, a conversation in America for single women. Mm -hmm. You're living in a federal housing apartment complex that says you can't protect you and your children. And it's a, and this is going to be a high crime area for the most part. It's going to be high property crimes. It's going to be high break in. It's going to be sexual assaults. It's going to be domestic violence. And I can't have a gun here. Uh, so you, you And I can't have a gun here? Oh, God. You can rewrite some laws. But it be like that. I don't even care for one. Fuck a motherfucking gun shit. I'm going to die if I die, bro. I'm going to give it all the way 100 right now, bro. I feel so chosen right now to where I don't need no weapon. Kilo G told me that I literally was that chosen. Imagine. Imagine. Oh, so I promise. Yeah, you can change some shit. Uh, and, and, and I would like to help you in any way we can. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Is there anything you want to say before we go? Because I, you know, I know you feel misunderstood in, in a lot of ways. People don't really understand what you're going through. I was just adopting babies with me. That was, that was it. That was that was all that was on my mind right then. So 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 let me get this straight. Uh, you didn't have your hair done, so you had on a bandana. Yeah. Let, so we just gonna put that out there. Yeah. She's, not gang, she's not a gang. She's not a gang. She's not a gang banger. She's not one of them. Who, she's not none of that. Man, this is a woman that life been turned upside down. Mm -hmm. So she don't know how to get pretty in front of the camera after such a traumatic event. I wasn't even supposed to be on camera. That was. I just wanted to talk to him because I was seeing like the mama wanna know why she ain't in jail. She don't know nothing. And, these people like, oh, she should let him in. And all that kind of, I just, I wanted to talk to him so my side could be out. I ain't know who was going to do the whole, because uh, I still ain't never seen his mama. Mm. I ain't never seen her, like her face on the news. So I ain't know she did like an interview. I thought she just talked to him like I wanted to do. Yeah. But no, uh, I ain't do nothing to my hair. I just had, had it tied up thinking I'm just going to talk to him. Mm. Uh, the media like to catch us in our worst state, not our best. So they like to put that camera in our face when we're at our worst, not our best. So I, I get it. Uh, so that's why I, I'm thankful for Sean Cotton for bringing his camera. Uh, because if I didn't learn nothing else from Dick Gregory, uh, before he died, uh, he, he was teaching people with microphones and cameras that we the media, that these cameras and these microphones that we're way more powerful than our celebrities with this media because we can rewrite our narratives. We can tell our own narratives. Yeah. And so that's the whole, uh, that was the whole concept of us wanting to do this. So you can tell your narrative uh, and can't nobody else write it for you. Yeah. Uh, how old are your kids? I have a nine year old, eight year old, four year old and two year old. Okay. All girls. All girls. Wow. <laughs> I just told my girl I want all girls. No. I want a son. Yeah. household crazy? I want the, yeah. <laughs> yes. They got their kicks. So my oldest two got their own favorite little two. That's how it be. Oh, uh, oh my God. It be like that. You got to have favorites. It be like that. Not really got to have favorites. It's just natural. When you naturally click with somebody and the, it click. There's a lot of questions I got, but I, I, I'm not going to ask uh, because I know some fathers out there uh, and, and they seen what was going on. So, so if nothing else, uh, I challenge the father or the fathers uh, to allow this situation to to make them want to reconnect uh, with their children. So whatever they got to hash out with you, uh, man, they need some protection around her. You got four girls, but man, come on, daddy, uncles, cousins. Yeah, they got they got the uncle. They yeah. dad in jail. Okay, that's, yeah. So shout shout is. shout out to uncle for it. yeah. Yes. Uh, for sure. But but uh, we always hear. It, it takes a village. That's where the village come in. At. Yeah, that's where that's that's where the village come in. Oh my God, that's what that's what what's the name? I'm gonna say it, bro. I ain't even gonna say her name. Just on GP on some shit. But she said it takes a village. I need to keep that in my brain. It takes a village, even though y'all motherfuckers be acting like some motherfucking. Ugh. And I gotta be the motherfucking main spokesman of this shit. And gotta just accept all the bullshit but it takes a village bro and as long as i can smell and fake it all and make y'all motherfuckers laugh with me y'all motherfuckers gonna go rock and, and and you can't make me believe if, if, if we didn't petition and rally behind you uh that they wouldn't take that eviction off your record 
because it's on your record. It's on your record. So if nothing else, man, let her leave without the eviction. So it, her, her record's not hindered. Uh, do you Have you been to eviction court? No. I just got the note on my door like three days ago. Yeah, I mean, let's go to eviction court. And let's just ask for you to be re released. Least, yeah, let's I ask least. that you be released and not evicted. Yeah. So, so if nothing else, let's do that. Let's let's start off doing that. Yes, sir. So y'all help us. See y'all. See y'all help. Us. For sure, man. I appreciate your time. And uh, like, cause what, what day did I call you? It was Christmas Eve? It was Christmas Eve. Yeah. yeah. So uh, from that from then to like today, me and him was on the phone. I was like, Yo, did you get in touch with her? Like, yeah, I just he, couldn't stop thinking yeah. about it. Cause I run media and I post good, bad news. I post the ugly and I couldn't, e I didn't even want to touch that story till I spoke to you. Like, cause it, it touched me when I saw it. Um, so I just appreciate y'all letting me in your home and, and we getting the real story. And, um, like I said, I don't want nothing from this. Like all pro, all proceeds from this interview is going straight to you. So, um, I appreciate y'all and happy new year. Yes, man. God bless y'all. And thank you, mama. He said, thank you, mama. Hey, say cheese. I know you know who I am. I've been doing reaction videos for a cool minute. You messaged me back a couple times with some laughing faces. I'll just wait my turn, though. You feel me? I'll probably be like, hope I ain't like 30 by the end, though. That'll be another five years, though. So I guess give me another five, six years. Like, comment, share, subscribe, man. On the shirts.